sure, he may be the most iconic Yankee figure since Babe Ruth, and yeah, he may have won five world championships, but according to Brian Cashman, that all means nothing. What's up guys, Yankees Run This Town here, and uh, to everybody out there, I want to wish you guys a happy Thanksgiving, um, uh, of course, Thanksgiving's on Thursday, uh, but I just want to say, you know, happy Thanksgiving everybody, in case they don't make a video before then, you know, it's Monday now, um, so, I mean, and we're going to get right to the point, I don't know what the hell the Yankees are doing with Derek Jeter and his negotiations, I mean, to be honest with you, I mean, I understand these negotiations, but... We're not talking about just any free agent. We're talking about Derek Jeter, the most iconic Yankee, as I said, probably since Babe Ruth. And, I mean, you look at it, probably he probably is. And he's a, he's a first ballot Hall of Famer. You know, he's brought the Yankees so much. I mean, just overall, he's just been a great player. He gives them such a big profit from all, you know, I mean, just, I mean, this is kind of a minor thing, but think of all the merchandise that are sold with Jeter's name on it or Jeter's face on it. I mean, so much money probably that comes from that. And, you know, so a lot of people go to Yankee games just to see Derek Jeter. Just like Babe, just like going back to Babe Ruth. People buy, bought tickets to Yankee games. Well, at the time, they were only 25 cents, not $1,500. But, I mean, I know it's a big difference. But people came to watch a certain player. That certain player... Right now is Derek Jeter, and I understand there's so many more superstars that have been added to this team, but I mean Derek Jeter puts fans in the seats in Yankee Stadium because just because he's his name is in the starting lineup, and I mean it's just it's one of those things you know you, you go to Yankee Stadium um, for the past ten years it's been like you go to Yankee Stadium you can't wait for Derek Jeter Bob Shepard to announce his name whatever I mean you know that's like tradition almost for. The dec uh, past decade or so, and I, I think, to be honest with you, I mean, yeah, he probably doesn't deserve a fourth year. He probably doesn't deserve sixty million. Um, maybe he should get paid for what he is and not what he has been. But to be honest, I just want it to get over with. And I mean, if it does take a fourth year and sixty million, just do it. I mean, the Yankees have enough money. It's like pocket change for them. I mean. I'm not saying they should pay him. I'm not saying they should pay him because he's been such a good player. But you know, it's just more that I just want it to get done. I don't want this to drag out any longer. I mean, I don't want. I don't want to be, you know, you know, celebrating Christmas. You know, wondering whether Derek. You know, whether I should ask for a Derek Jeter shirt because maybe they won't make them next year. I mean, really. I. I mean, I'm pretty confident of return to the Yankees. It's just. This is already getting very messy, and I just would not like to see this drag out any longer. So, Yankees, go ahead. Take some change out of your pocket. And give him that fourth year. Give him that $60 million. Um, and just, just get him back. I mean, you know, either way, you're probably going to pay him that much money anyway. So, um, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, yeah, uh, you know, go Yankees. What do you guys think of, uh, you know... My, you know, what do you guys think? Should they give, should they give him the fourth year? Should they give him sixty million? Should they pay him based on what he's been or what he is? I mean, let me know. I mean, I really don't care at this point. That that's the point of this video. I don't care. I just want Derek Jeter back on the Yankees next season. So I'll see you guys later. Uh, and uh, yeah, happy Thanksgiving, guys. <laughs>